Hi everybody, here I am in Washington DC and I'm with Maria Foscarenas. Right. Did I say that right? You did. And she is the founder, you started this. Yes. And um, the executive director of the National Law Center on Homelessness and Poverty. So I might, because we don't have a good miking system, you'll have to speak up a little bit so that okay. it gets up on, on there. So why did you start this? Well, at the time I started um, the organization, homelessness was first becoming a big national issue. And I thought that it's outrageous that people are homeless in a country like ours. I mean, this is the United States of America. This is not the third world. People shouldn't be homeless. And I felt that I, as a lawyer, had power to make change. And I wanted to use that power together with others to do something about the crisis of homelessness. <laughs> You were at the beginning of your career, and you could have done many paths. Yes. So this is definitely, uh, would you say, a calling? Um, that's one way to say it. I, when I actually first got involved with the issue, I was on a different path. I was working at a big corporate law firm in New York, and I volunteered to take a case representing homeless people. And I would go out to visit my clients, and they were living in really unbelievable conditions, real deep poverty in the midst right. of affluence. And I could see firsthand what difference my, um, the legal skills that I could bring to bear made. And so that's pretty powerful, knowing right. that you can make a difference. Oh, it is. And, and it's, I, I used the term high-end earlier because I yeah. didn't know how else to, to uh -huh. say it, but you're, you're basically doing advocacy at the national and local le level, right. but in the courts and Congress and different areas when hotspots or you know, legal issues. Right. Our goal is to end and prevent homelessness. That has always been our goal. It's still our goal. We believe that it's possible and that the law and lawyers can make a big difference in making it real, making it possible. We've been able to win with our advocacy and always in partnership with many other groups, local and national, we've been able to win major protections in the Congress, laws that protect the rights of homeless people, that give resources to end homelessness. It's just that it's not enough. Right. And it's not enough because we don't yet have enough of a voice and enough power and mobilization to have the impact that we need to have. That's what it's all about. I mean, if we all get together, if we speak with one voice, if we mobilize and tell our um, members, our political representatives, that they need to make this a priority, we can do it. Okay, well, you gave me a nice segue. How do we do that? How does somebody uh, make our voice, you know, I, I do it in a different way by empowering homeless people to tell their own story. But what you're, what I heard you say is that us as citizens of the United States, we need to let our voice be heard in Congress that these people have rights and we want change. Right. Well, what, how we make it happen is we need to work at a lot of different levels. I think what you're doing is incredibly important. Um, I think, you know, what we're doing is different, but also important, and I think we need to join the two things together. So what we're doing is working with our other national advocacy groups. We have put together policy priorities, what we think the federal government, for example, should be doing, putting more money into affordable housing. Um, is number one, that's the top priority, but there are other things that the federal government should be doing. Um, we all just work together to, uh, to help create, help the right. um, develop this new federal plan to end homelessness, and that's great. It's still just a plan. We need to make it right. happen. Give it some legs. <laughs> we need to give it some legs and some money, mainly. Right. So, um, you know, getting the word out that what what we're working on and, you know, getting the input also from your folks would be incredibly right. powerful. Yeah. Um, how does somebody go about supporting you? Say, I'm going to ask this for two things. Maybe you're a lawyer out there and you want to, you know, do something like this and, 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 and help out and um, just maybe you're a citizen or, or however and you, you say, wow, this is really cool. I want to do uh, more of this type of advocacy. How do people contact you and support you? What's your website and okay. all that good stuff? Well, the best thing would be to go to our website. It's www.nlchp.org, and that will have the latest information. We also have a blog 
You can click on, there's a little icon, you can click on that and get more frequent updates from us. We have a monthly e-newsletter. So that's the best way to be in touch with us and you know, get involved. And you have a Twitter feed, which is how I, uh, I I just tweet that I'm down the street and I'm coming by for a visit and here I am. So. Right, yes. Um, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me and uh, it's truly an honor to be here. Well, thank you, Mark. It's great to meet you.